hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you are hearing my baby cry in the background oh, no there's nothing i can do about that oh also let us address this hair you guys i just i didn't know what to do to my hair my hair was growing back styling it wasn't as easy as you know when it was shorter i really want to change the style then again i'm not sure what i want to do yet so i just read to braid it literally nothing is here because Obviously, I don't have hair there, so it's very short. So I couldn't pick it. So this is the only style I could actually do, even though this is not my favorite. I don't think this hairstyle fits me, but it's the only one that I could actually do. So that is why. For my foundation today, I'm going to be using my ColourPop. I've been using this foundation since I got it, but I also have to mix it with this L'Oreal True Match in Cappuccino. This color pop is in the shade 165, dark 165, and this L'Oreal True Match is in cappuccino. You guys can see that this is definitely darker than this. This on its own is too light, this is too dark, so mixing these two gives me my perfect, perfect shade. So guys, as I do my makeup, let me just start by just, <laughs> just seeing you guys about my plastic surgery. See, the thing is, I have been so obsessed with looking at um before and after results of oh by the way i've primed my face and all that good stuff so yeah i've been so obsessed to looking at before and after results of people that have done um plastic surgeries in the past you guys the thing is like when well, you know when you know 100 percent in your mind that you're getting plastic surgery done i know that like there is no doubt in my mind about getting um, some procedures done so for me why i can't exactly get it done now is because i still plan on having at least one more baby well not at least i actually plan on having just one more baby and i'm hoping hoping praying that it's going to be a girl so anyways but even if i get a boy i'm just going to pack up close to and move on with my life because i mean i can decide to have 10 and i'll still have 10 boys so anyways um for me it's just a matter of time i know the procedures i want to get done and even though i'm not ready like right now i've been doing my research trying to look for like the perfect doctor the doctor i think will get the kind of results you know that i'm looking for i have this doctor in california her name is dr kat i've been obsessed with her work from what i've gathered from her work like from her recovery you have little or no pain and little or no bruises which i don't know the magic that she uses but you guys i don't have tolerance for pain so if I'm going to get less pain than anticipated, then you know why not? Dr. Kat as well, actually not cheap, you guys. She's <laughs> she's quite on the high price. But if you want a good result, then you kind of have to pay for it. I'm sure there are people doing it in Nigeria for God's sake for way less, but I don't know if my mind will let me go and lie down for that particular person to cut me open. I don't think so. So I'm going to go ahead and you know get it done where I know that. I'm going to be very comfortable and where at least I feel like I'm going to get better results. So that is why I'm going to use Dr. Katz. Right now, my option is Dr. Kat. Um, Yeah, so the things I plan to get done are a lot, a whole lot, you guys. It's a lot. I plan to, first of all, get liposuction. Obviously, where they suck out fat from all the unwanted places. And then I also plan to do a tummy tuck, which is basically cutting out all the excess skin. Obviously, before then, I'm hoping that your girl must have lost a lot of weight. So it should be like just cutting up all the excess skin. You have to lipo to remove fat from like my waist, you know, to change it a little bit more. You know, then the fat that I suck out from my stomach area, I'm going to use it and give give myself a little bit more shape just just a little bit more i don't like too curvy like i don't want Kim kardashian curves but then again i don't want to look straight so i'm just going to use it to give myself just just small shape yeah just <laughs> just small and then i am going to um do the tummy talk where they cut out all the extra fats where, where the main point of that tummy talk is actually so that my muscles can be tightened again because obviously after you have kids everything separates inside there so i'm going to get a tummy talk to tighten my muscles again and just make it flatter because if i just do the lipo 
my muscles are still separated um nothing is really how it used to be inside there so i'm not going to get the kind of results that i want so that is why i'm going to go ahead and get a tummy tuck as well and then i'm obviously going to be doing a breast lift a breast lift slash breast reduction because i'm just not a big breast person like before i started having kids i had like average size boobs you know they were not big i think i was in 30 like 32 or 34 c they're about i was a c cup but since after having children my cup size has increased to a double d which i am not exactly happy with because i don't particularly like the breast so i am going to go back to my c cup depending on my on my body frame then though so i'm going to get you know advised on what's best for my for my body when the time comes but left for me i would want to get down to a c cup Moving on, I know I've gotten questions where people ask because I've been <laughs> saying a lot about the like surgeries I want to get in future. I've been seeing a lot on Instagram, and I got uh, from people asking me if my husband is okay with it and why I want it, how I look good, you know, and all that good stuff. The thing is, yeah. When it comes to procedures like this, for me especially, I am not doing it for my husband. It's more like I need to feel comfortable in my own skin. I need to love the body that I have. Not like I don't love my body now, but I can love my body even more. And then again, I just thought about it. The fact is, the truth is that I am very young. You know, I am, I am young. By the time I have my three kids, I will still be um under 30 so why do i want to live the rest of my long life by god's grace inside a body that i'm not happy with so the way i see it is kids came along they change a lot of things for me so this is just my way of just going back to having something i'm going to be happy with something i can live with obviously it can never be perfect like nobody is what is perfect well it's per everybody's body is perfect in their own ways there's no one single perfect body there's no one single body type to say this is the perfect body because it's perfect for one person but it's not for the other so i just want to read the points where i have something that i can live with something that i'm going to be very 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 happy with which is why i'm doing this surgery my husband knows that it's something that i really want so he has come to terms with the fact that it's something i want so he's just going to support me throughout throughout the process it's not something he thinks I should get, but then again, I explained to him that this is just something I'm doing for myself, to feel better about myself. It's not about him, but just to him. I'm fine the way I am. You know, I had kids. It's not like I bought the children and, you know, I, they're, obviously there are going to be changes of my body. So he gets that. I get that as well, but then it's something that I'm doing for myself more for myself than for anybody you know there are, sometimes i just want to buy simple clothing and i can't i just i can't even do it because like i can't even buy things that open at the back or stuff because your girl needs very good support for every single thing she wears so things like that i just want to be able to rock whatever it is i want to rock to be able to just do things without being so concerned about how i look you know it's not like i'm doing it for somebody it's just I just have to be happy with myself at the end of the day and again if you want to change something about your body and you can afford it and you think that you are mentally and financially ready then why not that's just my own why not you have to live your best life you know you just have to live your best life this life is way too long even though people say life is too short but this life is just i feel like it's just way too long to be unhappy with how i look like i can't be 30 and hate my body for the rest of my life you know 
that's just my personal opinion about this whole surgery thing. So I'm not going to move on to another topic now. I think I have said enough <laughs> about my whole plastic surgery experience. I'm just I'm just going to move on. Say hi. Say hi. You're more interested in touching on my makeup. Look up. Say hi, baby. <laughs> so I went ahead off camera and did my eyes. I was going to wear lashes, but you guys, I'm really not going any important. And yeah, I've said not to wear lashes. Let me just finish up my my face because I want to film my sheen haul today. So I'm actually going somewhere, not somewhere important, but I'm going out. So I need to rush this whole makeup right now so that I can film that haul before stepping out, you guys. Um, I've been liking very, very minimal makeup. And by minimal, this, you have to still beat the whole face. By minimal, I just mean like no eyeshadow, no lashes. That's it. look this is what i do these days when i want the like, most minimal makeup this is as minimal as it gets in my book anything less than this is really no makeup i tried it recently and i'm like uh, what is this so this is what i do like this is what i do for like everyday makeup but i'm not going to somewhere important and when i just want to run errands and i feel like beating my face this is it right here hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a very very big thumbs up and also you guys let me know in the comment section if i've actually gotten any procedure done before or if you're considering getting one because i know your girl i'm so ginger i'm so pumped and i cannot wait so let me know you know if you're just thinking of getting one and what you're thinking of getting as well let's just start in the comment section okay anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys